Playing with Power MTG. Powerful cards, powerful formats. Before we get into tonight's game, I wanted to ask a question. Do you have extra cards lying around that you don't use? Want to buy or trade for some extra cards but don't know how to maximize the value? Then you should try out today's sponsor, Card Conduit. Card Conduit is the best service when it comes to selling your extra cards. Don't waste hours trying to find the best buy list price for your cards online. Simply send them to Card Conduit and let them take care of the rest. I have used Card Conduit multiple times already. I always use them to get the best value for my extra cards. I get fair prices for my cards and they save me tons of time. They have three main services. Their standard service lets you send them your unsorted cards of any value. They will sort, grade, and give you the best price for your cards. Their curated service is similar. Send them your unsorted cards worth over a dollar in value. They will charge half the fee of the standard service and charge no fee per card. Their sorted service is a great value as well. Choose cards in advance with their selection tool, send them sorted to Card Conduit, and they will grade and buy list them automatically. Save yourself the time of having to send to multiple sites and let Card Conduit do it instead. Their fee is only 2% with no fee per card. They give you the best price for your cards. They work with competitive buy listing partners, including ones not open to the public. Users get an average of 19% more for their collection than they would from any major retail buy list, even with Card Conduit's fees. Card Conduit also optimizes buy listing for card condition as well. Since vendors have different penalties for wear and tear, Card Conduit will find the best buy list priced against the specific condition of the card. So give Card Conduit a try today. If you sign up with my link in the description below or use the promo code POWER, you will also get 10% off of their fees when you use their service. A big thanks to Card Conduit for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's start out by showcasing our fighters this evening. First, we have Mike, pounding Brea Ethereum Shaper. This deck splashes white for various stacks and disruptive elements before going for multiple combo wins. Mike's opening hand contains a Lion's Eye Diamond, Demonic Consultation, Arcane Signet, Mana Crypt, Mystic Remora, and his London Mulligans are Dramatic Reversal and Cursed Mirror. Next, we have Bailey, pounding the partner pair of Armix, Filigree Thrasher, and Krom, Ludovic's Opus. This deck leverages Krom for card advantage and Armix to pick off troublesome creatures while filling the graveyard. Bailey's opening hand contains a Dothy Voidwalker, Bergy God of Storytelling, Talisman of Creativity, Dark Ritual, Blood Crypt, Mox Diamond, and a Command Tower. Next, we have Hunter, pounding Nijila the Blade Blossom. This deck packs the best cards in the format and pushes win attempts turn after turn. Hunter's opening hand contains an Ancient Tomb, Ranger Captain of Eos, Arcane Signet, Flusterstorm, Polluted Delta, Imperial Seal, and his London Mulligan is a Diabolic Intent. Finally, we have Cory, pounding Dehada, Binder of Wills. This deck seeks to use its commander to grind out value while fueling the graveyard for Underworld Breach. Cory's opening hand contains Gemstone Caverns, Badlands, Ad Nauseam, Wishclaw Talisman, Verdict Catacombs, and his London Mulligans are Cursed Mirror and Defense Grid. Without further ado, let's kick off this frenetic frenzy of frolicking fanatics. Mike swatted a Mosquito the fastest and gets to start us off. But Cory has a pregame action and puts Gemstone Caverns onto the battlefield, exiling Misty Rainforest. Hunter draws a card for turn and plays an Ancient Tomb. He taps it to help cast Arcane Signet. He casts Imperial Seal. He fetches up a card onto the top of his library and loses two life. Finished up, Hunter passes to Cory. Cory draws and plays a Badlands. He casts Wishclaw Talisman. He ships the turn to Mike. Mike draws and plays a Plateau. He casts a Mana Crypt. He casts an Arcane Signet. He casts a Mystic Remora. He casts Lion's Eye Diamond. Off to an explosive start. Mike ends his turn. Bailey draws and plays a Command Tower. He casts Mox Diamond. Remora triggers and Mike draws. Diamond enters and Bailey discards a Blood Crypt. He casts Dothy Voidwalker and passes the turn. Hunter draws and plays a Polluted Delta. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Tundra onto the battlefield. He taps his Ancient Doom to help cast Rhystic Study. Remora triggers and Mike draws. Finished up, Hunter ends his turn. Cory draws and plays a Bloodstained Mire. With no other actions, he passes. During Mike's upkeep, he pays for his Mystic Remora and wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and plays a Tundra. He casts Grand Abolisher, paying the Rhystic Tax. He casts a Mana Ball. Rhystic Study triggers and Hunter draws. Finished up, Mike ships the turn to Bailey. During Bailey's upkeep, Cory cracks his Bloodstained Mire, pays a life, and fetches up a Scrubland onto the battlefield. Bailey draws, takes no actions, and passes. Hunter draws and plays a Flooded Strand. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Tropical Island onto the battlefield. Hunter passes. Cory draws and casts a Mana Crypt. Remora and Rhystic Trigger, Cory pays for Rhystic, and with the Remora Trigger still on the stack, Bailey casts Dark Ritual. Remora and Rhystic Trigger again, Hunter and Mike draw, then Bailey has three black. Bailey then flashes in a Notion Thief. Rhystic Triggers and Hunter draws. With nothing else, Cory ships the turn to Mike. At the end of Cory's turn, Hunter taps his Ancient Tomb to help flash in an Opposition Agent. In response, Cory activates Wishclaw Talisman, fetching up a card into his hand and then giving Wishclaw to Bailey. The turn moves to Mike. During his upkeep, Mike wins his Mana Crypt roll and pays for his Mystic Remora. He draws and casts a Lotus Petal. Hunter declines to draw through Rhystic because of Bailey's Notion Thief, and then Mike ends the turn. 
Bailey draws and casts Talisman of Creativity. Mike also declines to draw through Remora because of Notion Thief. He moves to combat and attacks Cory with Notion Thief. Cory takes it, and with nothing else, the turn moves to Hunter. Hunter draws and taps Ancient Tomb to help cast his commander, Najila the Blade Blossom. He passes. During his upkeep, Cory wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and casts the One Ring, gaining protection from everything until his next turn. Cory passes. During Mike's upkeep, he loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes 3 damage, and then pays to keep his Remora. He draws, takes no actions, and passes the turn. Bailey draws and casts Praetor's Grasp, targeting Cory. In response, Hunter casts Flusterstorm, countering Praetor's Grasp. Finished up, Bailey passes to Hunter. Hunter draws and taps Ancient Tomb to help cast Ranger Captain of Eos. It enters, and Hunter fetches up an Esper Sentinel into his hand. He casts Birds of Paradise. He moves to combat and attacks Cory with Najila. Najila triggers, and Hunter creates a 1 1 warrior tapped in attacking Cory. Cory declares no blocks and takes no damage due to protection from the One Ring. All through, Hunter ends his turn. During Cory's upkeep, he wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws, comments that the board state sucks right now, and casts Ad Nauseum. In response, Bailey casts Force of Negation for its alternate cost, exiling a blue card, countering and exiling Ad Nauseum. Cory sighs and passes to Mike. During Mike's upkeep, he loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes 3 damage, and then pays to keep his Remora. He draws, does nothing else, and passes. Bailey draws and casts Bergy, God of Storytelling. He moves to combat and attacks Cory with Notion Thief. Cory takes it, and Bailey ships the turn to Hunter. Hunter draws and plays a Volcanic Island. He moves to combat and attacks Cory with Najila and a Warrior. Najila triggers, and Hunter creates two more Warriors tapped in attacking Cory. Cory takes it, and in his second main phase, Hunter casts Orcish Bowmasters. It enters, deals one damage to Notion Thief, killing it, and Hunter amasses one. He casts Esper Sentinel. In response, Cory activates the One Ring, adding a burn encounter and drawing a card. Bowmasters triggers, Hunter pings Cory and amasses one. With nothing else, the turn moves to Cory. During his upkeep, Cory wins his Mana Crypt roll, then loses a life through the One Ring. He draws and then activates the One Ring, adding a counter and drawing two. Bowmasters triggers twice, and Hunter targets Grand Abolisher with both triggers, killing it and exiling it with a Void counter, then amasses two. Next, Cory casts Lotho, Corrupt Sheriff, paying the Rhystic Tax. All through, Cory passes to Mike. During Mike's upkeep, he loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes three damage, and then pays to keep his Remora. During his draw step, he takes a damage through his Mana Vault. He does nothing else and passes. Bailey draws and sacrifices Dothy Voidwalker to help cast Grand Abolisher from Exile. Bergy and Rhystic Trigger, Hunter draws, and in response to Grand Abolisher, Hunter casts Cyclonic Rift, targeting Bergy. Remora triggers and Mike draws. Bowmasters triggers and Hunter has a deal 1 damage to Lotho, killing it and amassing 1. Then Bailey adds a red and Grand Abolisher resolves. Bailey then casts his commander, Krom, Ludovic's Opus. Rhystic Triggers and Hunter draws. With nothing else, Bailey sends the turn to Hunter. Hunter draws and casts Grand Abolisher. In response, Cory casts Swords to Plowshares, targeting Najila. Remora, Rhystic, and Esper Sentinel trigger. Hunter draws two, and Mike draws one. Bowmasters triggers, Hunter pings Bailey's Grand Abolisher, and then amasses one. With Swords still in the stack, Hunter pays two life to cast Mental Misstep, targeting Swords. Remora and Krom trigger. Bailey draws, Bowmasters triggers, Hunter pings Grand Abolisher, killing it, and amasses one. Mike draws, Bowmasters triggers again, and Hunter pings Mike, then amasses one again. Still in response, Mike casts Red Elemental Blast, targeting Misstep. Rhystic and Esper Sentinel trigger, and Hunter draws two. He doesn't find what he needs, and Red Blast resolves, countering Misstep. Then Swords resolves, Najila is exiled, and Hunter gains three. With Hunter's Abolisher still on the stack, Mike casts Silence, paying the Rhystic tax. Krom triggers, and Bailey draws. Bowmasters triggers, Hunter pings Bailey, and then amasses one. Silence resolves, locking out Mike's opponents from casting spells this turn. Then finally, after what seems like forever, Grand Abolisher resolves. Hunter plays an Exotic Orchard as his land for turn. He passes to Cory. During Cory's upkeep, he loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes 3 damage, and then loses 2 life through the One Ring. He draws and casts his commander, Tejada, Binder of Wills. Rhystic, Esper, and Remora all trigger. Hunter draws 2, and Mike draws 1. Bowmasters triggers, Hunter pings Mike, then amasses 1. Then Tejada resolves. Cory activates Tejada's second ability, revealing the top 4 cards of his library and putting them into his graveyard, creating 4 treasures. Cory then casts Grand Abolisher, paying the Rhystic tax. Krom triggers, and Bailey draws. Bowmasters triggers, Hunter pings Bailey, and amasses 1. With Abolisher still in the stack, Hunter sacrifices Ranger Captain of Eos. In response to the Ranger Captain ability, Cory casts Final Fortune. Remora and Rhystic trigger, Hunter draws, then Mike draws. Bowmasters triggers, Hunter pings Bailey, and then amasses one. In response, Hunter casts Mind Break Trap for its alternate cost, targeting Final Fortune and Grand Abolisher. Remora triggers, and Mike draws. Bowmasters triggers, Hunter pings Bailey, and amasses one. In response, Cory activates the One Ring, adding a Bird Encounter and drawing three cards. Bowmasters triggers three times, Hunter deals three to Bailey, and amasses three. With no more interaction, Mindbreak Trap exiles both Grand Abolisher and Final Fortune. Then Ranger Captain's ability resolves, locking out Hunter's opponents from casting non-creature spells this turn. Locked out, and with his draws being uncooperative, Cory ships the turn to Mike. 
During his upkeep, Mike wins his Mana Crypt roll. He also lets his Remora die. During his draw step, he takes a damage through his Mana Vault. In his main phase, he casts Underworld Breach, Rhystic and Sentinel Trigger, and Hunter draws too. In response, Hunter casts Swan Song, targeting Underworld Breach. In response, Mike casts his own Swan Song, targeting Hunter Swan Song. Krom and Rhystic Trigger, and Hunter and Bailey draw. Bowmasters triggers, Hunter pings Mike, and then amasses one. In response to Mike's Swan Song, Hunter casts Veil of Summer. Krom triggers, and Bailey draws again. Bowmasters triggers, Hunter pings Bailey, and then amasses one. In response to Bale, Mike casts Dark Ritual, Rhystic Triggers, and Hunter draws. Then Mike adds 3 black. He casts Ad Nauseam, Rhystic Triggers, and with the trigger on the stack, Hunter casts Mystical Tutor. He fetches up a Force of Will onto the top of his library. Still in response to Rhystic, Mike cracks his LED, discards his hand, and adds 3 black. He uses one of that to pay for Rhystic. Still in response, Bailey casts Force of Will, paying a life, exiling a blue card, targeting Ad Nauseam. Rhystic and Sentinel Trigger, and Hunter draws too. With nothing else, Force counters Nas, Veil of Summer resolves, and Hunter draws. Mike Swansong can't counter Hunter Swansong because of Veil, Hunter Swansong counters Breach, and both Mike and Hunter create a 2-2 bird. With his desperate attempt foiled, Mike passes to Bailey. Bailey draws and casts Cabal Ritual with Threshold. Rhystic and Sentinel Trigger, Hunter draws too, and Bailey adds 5 black. He then casts Yawgmoth's Will. Rhystic Triggers, and Hunter draws. In response, Hunter casts Force of Will, paying a life and exiling a blue card, targeting Yogg Will. In response, Bailey casts Swan Song, targeting Force. Rhystic Triggers, and Hunter draws. In response, Hunter casts Pact of Negation, targeting Swan Song. Krom Triggers, and Bailey draws. Bowmaster Triggers, and Hunter pings Bailey and amasses one. In response, Bailey casts an Offer You Can't Refuse, targeting Pact of Negation. Rhystic Triggers, and Hunter draws. Then Offer counters Pact, and Hunter creates two treasures. Still in response, Hunter casts Calling the Weak, sacrificing a warrior as an additional cost, adding four black. Hunter taps his Ancient Tomb to help cast Ad Nauseam. With a table out of answers, Ad Nauseam resolves. Hunter reveals a Demonic Consultation, Witch Claw Talisman, Scalding Tarn, Gamble, Mox Amber, Worldly Tutor, Ragavan Nimble Pilferer, Silence, Badlands, Wooded Foothills, Chrome Mox, Bloodstained Mire, and a Mnemonic Betrayal, deciding to stop there. Still in response, Hunter casts Silence. Silence resolves, locking out Hunter's opponents from casting spells this turn. Then Swan Song counters Force, Hunter creates a bird, and a depressing Yogg Moth's Will resolves. Dejected, Bailey moves to Crombat and attacks Hunter with Crom. Hunter takes it, and Bailey ends his turn. Hunter draws and casts Gamble. He fetches up a card into his hand and then randomly discards Ragavan Nimble Pilferer. He casts Dockside Extortionist. It enters, and Hunter creates eight treasures. He cracks some of his treasures to help recast his commander, Najila. He then cracks a few more treasures to cast Eladomri's Call. He fetches up a Derevi, Imperial Tactician, into his hand. He casts Derevi. It enters and untaps his Exotic Orchard. He moves to combat and attacks his opponent with his warriors. Najila triggers and Hunter creates two additional warrior tokens. They all take it, Derevi triggers, and Hunter untaps his lands. Still in combat, he activates Najila's ability, untapping his attacking creatures and getting in another combat. Hunter presents a loop of attacking with warriors, untapping his lands, activating Najila, and getting in extra combat. He does this over and over, until the table is dead, and Hunter wins the game. Ladies and gentlemen, what a match. Congrats to Hunter on his win. 90% of this game took place on the stack tonight. It was so cool to see everyone fighting to push their win through. In the end, it was Hunter who came out on top. He did a great job of threat assessment, timing his interaction, and going for the line after everyone was spent. The most valuable card in tonight's game, sponsored by Luxury Playstyle, goes to Grand Abolisher. Everyone was fighting to land their own Abolisher or stop someone else's. Once this creature resolves, it spells game over for the table because they can't interact. Any CDH player will tell you it is red alert when this creature hits the stack. Well, that about wraps it up for this episode. Tune in next time when we duke it out to see who will be king of the competitive EDH table. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.